Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Some more investigation of my new favourite weapon in DCS, which is the AGM-62 Walleye 2, has shown that we can actually use it reasonably for air-to-air, -air, even better than we can do a laser-guided bomb. It's friggin' awesome, this weapon. So cool, just new things. And we've just found out you can buddy laser as well and buddy direct it, but that's for another video. So watch this. So we've got a helicopter, it's moving 25 knots. It's at uh, 1,000 feet in the air or 800 feet, something like that. Let's go and get our aircraft set up, stand by. We can use the data link method or the non-data link method, it's up to you. Just to keep it super simple, we'll go non-data link. Gonna uncage. Level out and start searching. We need to go SCS switch left first to make it our DDI of interest. We've got the diamond there now. Now we can hold TDC depress, we need to slow down a bit and TDC slew to go and find the helicopter. I know he's on the left of the runway somewhere where I left him, but I'm not sure exactly where he is. Let me know if you see him anywhere, RC. Even though there's a pretty big helicopter, an MI-26, he's still very hard to find. I think that's him there. I'm going to get a contrast lock, but... I think that might be him. Okay, got a contrast lock. We'll be dropping the bomb. Uh, it's not an acceptable lock, as you can see yet, so we can't drop yet. And have a little move around, see if we can get that at a better lock. Hmm, strangely, it's not interested at the moment. Let me try turning in a little bit closer. Pretty much over the top of him now. There he is. I can definitely see his rotor blades now. It's a lock. It's valid. Caps drop. Okay, in she goes. And she's follow, should follow this moving helicopter. Can trim myself out in the meantime, it's going to take a few minutes to fall. How's that bomb looking, RC? Good, looks good. Oh, yeah. Ah, so cool. 2,000 pounds of TNT in your face. So, the only thing to better that would be to use our other bomb on an aeroplane. So, stand by as we go search for an aeroplane. I've stepped to my new bomb. I'm going to uncage it. Start looking for this little guy. He's out there somewhere. Oh, I see him. He's just down there on my left. Right. Okay, I'm going to try and get in. Yep, I got him. Hello, friend. Hello, my friend. Okay, I'm going to have to go around for another run to find him. Okay, I'm going to crab that back for now. Oh, just went straight past my screen. How frustrating. Right, I'm going to go for another run and try and pick him up. I'm now going to... Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I'm cage. I'm gonna find him. Got a lovely contrast lock. And I've got permission to fire. I'm just gonna speed up a little bit and get the necessary kinetics. I've actually lost it. Oh, there he is. Right. In I come, RC. We can tell what azimuth he is because where that square comes in relation to, you know, the center line of or of him there and we can also tell essentially how close we are to him as well the closer we are to him in terms of lateral range not necessarily slant range but lateral range then the closer this box here is going to be down to the slew limit here of the walleye sensor and in fact just for fun why don't we use, go and use our data link for this so data link on i think that's hooked up already ready to go you can see we're on channel two down there give it some energy give it some speed so we're going to keep that box central in those two lines there ideally and we don't want to drop too late so i think that will probably do so we're going to drop now and we're going to guide the bomb if we need to if it moves off course with um, tdc depress and tdc slew looks like we're on for an impact at the moment let's go and uh, have a little watch of the bomb now Oh, just literally, I just paused it there and it spooned off just at the last second. How frustrating is that? So it looks like the auto lock function just gives up at the last few seconds. Or possibly I just dropped too far behind him. Boom. One more ever so quick go. Okay, we're locked on again. We're going to get a bit more altitude this time. Switch over to data link. Pion. This time we're going to take manual control so we can try and make sure we keep the lockers much as we can. Yeah, we're reaching our slew limit, so we better drop very shortly. And we're going to drop there. Let's 
trim ourselves out a little. I'm just going to take manual control of this bomb for a little bit, see if I can... aim in front of it. Ah, damn. Bomb's got plenty of speed, but it's just too hard. Look, it's fully leveled out and chasing that thing. Uh, so, helicopters up to kind of 50, 60, 70 knots, I think it's no problem. Planes, as they're always going to be over 100 knots, I think it's just too hard for a walleye. Next, we'll be looking at Buddy Datalink. Hope you enjoyed that and see you later.